longtime New York City educator Misha Ross Porter will be the first black woman to lead the nation's largest public school district. Richard Carranza, the current New York City school chancellor, announced his resignation Friday and said Misha Ross Porter will be taking the role. This is the great privilege of my life at this moment, Porter said in a press conference. She eats, drinks, sleeps, and thinks at all times about New York and the children of New York, said Carranza. Porter takes the role after the school's reopening amid the COVID-19 pandemic has largely been heralded as a success. Randy Wangarten, president of the American Federation of Teachers, told NBC's Meet the Press on Sunday that New York City schools have done a pretty good job in terms of showing the way for the rest of the country's schools to reopen. Porter, who has been a teacher, assistant principal, principal, and school founder, is currently the Bronx executive superintendent and the daughter of a teacher. She grew up in Queens and later moved to the Bronx, where she built her career as an educator. At the end of the day, it's about the tireless dedication we have to every student every step of the way. It's about early mornings and late nights, doing all the work that no one will ever see you do so that we can show up, so that we can create opportunities at schools so students can learn every day, said Porter. Since Porter took over Bronx schools in 2018, the borough has boosted graduation rates by 5.7%, the largest gains of any borough, and compared to a 2.8% increase citywide. The mayor's office said that in a statement. Porter spoke directly to students at the press conference, vowed to reopen the city's high schools, which have remained closed throughout the pandemic despite elementary schools reopening. Middle schools reopened on Thursday. Porter also said the department would focus on trauma and mental health amid the pandemic. Every child deserves a rigorous, high-quality education where they see themselves in the curriculum every day, she added.